Hello Leos, it's your girl Empress Cheryl. This will be your reading for October 2022. This will be a brief reading. Um, I won't split it up in three parts like how I normally do the general um, career and then love. We're just going to take the cards that came and just read it as a whole message for the month of October. Okay, so... Let's get into it for you, Leos, and see what's going on. Okay. Oh, okay. Mission. Okay, so Leos, Leos, these are some good cards. So it looks like October will be a good month for you overall. Now, what I will say is, is like, I feel like you're going to be on a mission. So it's like, maybe you have always wanted to do something or you just, now realizing or putting together what it is that you really want to do or whatever with this strategist we have every vision has a plan so it's like it's like it, either you have already put a plan together and now you're acting on it like with this chariot like you're on a mission to act on it or it's like now you finally discover what it is but it's like you're we have north node step out of your comfort zone it's like you are deciding to take action on whatever this vision is and it could be you coming together with someone there's three of pentacles here like creating some type of partnership um in order to move forward towards your goal but we have number 46 um pushing upward which talks about steady progress, gaining confidence, a promotion, accepting challenges, receiving recognition. So it's like throughout this month, you are realizing what it is that you need to be doing. It's like you're realizing your purpose. And with this Erica Badu spirituality card here, it could be like either some type of spiritual business or you use some type of spiritual means to understand what what you need to do, like what you need to act on. Like I'm getting the mindset of like, say for instance, you got your birth chart read or something like that. And it told you that you should do this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, now you're deciding to act on it. Now you're deciding to like put a plan together and partner up with someone in order to really take steps to move towards your north node like you know what i'm saying or this could just be like you are a very spiritual person so it's like maybe you're maybe this thing that you're doing that you're moving forward on is um a spiritual business or it's like maybe you're clear in terms of your um spirituality now and it's like that's the vision that you're you're putting together but whatever it is it's like you you're stepping out of your comfort zone, like you're moving forward, like you're working on a plan that, you know, coincides with your North Node, that is like your overall vision, like you're putting it together, like either you are, either you're connecting with someone who is working up like under you, like you're assisting them or you're connecting with someone who's kind of like a mentor to you, to you who is helping you along your journey. Now, in regards to love, I'm getting uh, with this romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exp exploring. It's like maybe you had thoughts about some type of connection with someone. And if, you know what I'm saying, if they have feelings for you, if, you know what I'm saying, if it was real or whatever the case may be, but your feelings are real and worth exploring is pretty much what is coming out here. So, you know what I'm saying? It is something for you to, you know, consider, possibly act on, you know what I'm saying? It's worth exploring. So, you know, looking to see what can come of some situation. Now, you do have this um, card here that says love on yourself so you can properly love others. So, it's referring to your heart chakra and self-love. 
So just be mindful to, um, you know, give love to yourself and clear up any like judgments that you may have about yourself that could possibly interfere um, in regards to a connection with someone else. Um, so yeah, just don't, you know, that's the, the biggest thing that I'm getting there is just to, um, be mindful to, to, to love on you. You know what I'm saying? Not to just move forward in a connection because you want someone to love on you, but for you to actually love on yourself as well. But it looks like everything is coming, like everything is coming into being for you in the month of October. It's like, you're truly stepping into your, um, North Node here, like you're on a mission, you have a plan, you're moving forward on your plan because there's, there's a vision and it's leading you to success with this money, you know, car here. And then also like, I'm thinking of this Fox with this Fox is just kind of like, um, I'm getting like being focused and like following your instinct as well. So maybe that's what this spirituality card is about. Also like following your intuition. Um, and it's like that path is what's going to lead you to success and lead you to abundance. So if you get the thought to connect with someone, you know, partner up with someone throughout this month, Leo, then that's probably what you should do. Like that's probably the thing that's going to lead you on this path. Um, and, and get you the, you know, recognition that you need, um, in order to continue doing the work that you, that you here supposed to be doing. All right. So that is the message for you, Leo. Y'all take care and be sure to have a jazzy month.